I'm Eric Burns, and coincidentally, the first play I have ever written is getting its world premiere exactly across the street from the hospital in which I was born, McGee Hospital. So it's a wonderful coincidence. I started out actually doing cabaret shows as a performer and a writer. Then I decided it was too much pressure trying to make people laugh. I just couldn't stand it. And so I thought I'd be serious. And I got a job in television news in Parkersburg. I was in Minneapolis when Mary Tyler Moore was there, although I never ran into her on the streets. From then on, it was NBC and just traveling all over the place. Mitstrut is a play about a man who finds out he has six months left to live and has to decide how to use his time most wisely. He decides the best thing he can do is uh, get in touch with a woman he hasn't seen for 35 years and ask her if she'll have sex with him. He is in his mid-50s. She was a majorette in high school and he used to watch her in the stands and, and just be filled with exuberance, not just because of her and her uh, skimpy outfit, although that's certainly part of it, but the Sousa marches and, and the whole panoply of Friday night football or Saturday night football. Around here it's Friday night football. And something stayed in his mind all those years. He began to think that a majorette is not just this silly little version of a cheerleader who marches with the band on a football field, but that she stands for something more than that. And because of that, he decides that he wants to see this woman who, as it turns out, A, still looks great, and B, has a husband who just had an affair, the first affair ever in all their years of marriage. So she might be, just might be, uh, susceptible to his request to have sex with him. And that's as much as I'm willing to say. What is the cliche in the theater? From that point on, complications ensue. I wanted to try a play in part because my son was in high school and college theater then and I saw so many plays and in part because uh, when I got out of college I wrote some satirical reviews and so I, I thought I might have a flair for writing dialogue. But the real attraction was that, uh, and I hope this doesn't cut down on the size of the audience for Midstrut, but people should know they should be fairly warned that everything in it is a lie and nothing has ever happened in real life. I got tickets to a Steelers game last year, and I thought, well, my agent's not doing much for Midstrut, and I'm going to be in Pittsburgh. I mean, not that it matters, but I was thinking of Pittsburgh, and I thought, why don't I write letters to the people uh, at the theaters, various theaters in Pittsburgh, and see if they'd be willing to take a look at the play. And I explained, I know the agent's supposed to do this, but I just have more of a passion for the play. I represent one play, the agent, my agent represents dozens. And this guy named Ron Lindblom, artistic director of the Pittsburgh Playhouse, not only wrote back to me and said, please send me the play quickly, but when you're in Pittsburgh, come by. And so this meeting that he had set up without knowing a thing about it, uh, actually happened. I spent most of the day before uh, the Steelers lost horribly to the Patriots uh, talking to Ron and as I've told him he is my first and only friend and I really do consider him a friend after a year who wears a beret.